Hey everyone, so today's tutorial is going to be about taking, buying a prosthetic from, you know, Party City, your Halloween store, whatever, and making, making the edges blend much easier than, you know, just sticking latex on and having those rough edges stick up. And so, yeah, if you like what you see, keep watching. So I got this prosthetic at Party City. And when you usually make prosthetics, you want the edges to be really thin. These are, I would say they're pretty thick, if you can see that. They're not like see-through at the edges, which is kind of what you want. So, you know, when you apply these like, you know, kind of prosthetics that you get at a Halloween store, if you really want to get seamless edges, you have to add more to the outer corners than just liquid latex. So what I'm going to do is just start ripping up some tissue paper and apply that to the edges. I'm also going to cut this up so I don't have, you know, like a superhero eyeball thing. So the first thing that you want to do, especially when applying something on the face, is make sure that it fits. And so this fits pretty well. Uh, my, I took my hair out of the way because we're going to be using local latex and you don't want to get that on your hair. So to know exactly where this is going to be on my face, I'm going to hold it there while I take some Cody powder and put it on the edges so that when you take off the prosthetic you can see exactly where the edges are. So as you can see, those that is where. Oh, crap! I've got it all on my jeans. They're new. So you can see that. You can see that uh, where all my edges are. I'm gonna take some spirit gum and go right around the edges of my prosthetic and on the edges, all well, the inside edges of this. purpose of this is to make sure that they're held down throughout the night, whatever you're going to be doing with it. And if you let that sit for a second or two, it starts to get very tacky, which is what you want. This eyeball is so dramatic, like, it, first of all, it's gigantic and it would not be bulging that much, but whatever, party city. So now I'm just going to go over the edges real fast with a little bit of latex. So I've just got some paper towel right here. I'm going to use a thicker paper towel just for now. And then I'll use some toilet paper to even out the bumps in that. Just because I believe that the... Paper towels are a bit thicker, so they're going to cover those edges a bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and take some translucent powder, Cody powder, and go over my toilet paper and towel slash liquid latex just so it's not shiny and so it's not tacky anymore. Now I'm going to go over the white with a foundation to match my skin. Okay. 
Okay, so I just finished coloring it. Uh, I'm not extremely happy with my edges, but it's also not a straight line all the way around the prosthetic. It's a lot, um, it's kind of a lot creepier, and I think you can work with it a lot more than just, you know, having this be like that on there, if you know what I'm trying to say. So yeah, it's a, it's a little bumpy, but I think I'm going to work with it and make it into something like, I don't know, veiny or I don't even know. So to color it, I'm going to use my Makeup Forever Flash Palette and maybe some other stuff, I don't know yet. just taking Sugar Pills Love Plus and just taking a fluffy brush and adding a bit of, of uh, distress around the eye. Now I'm going to take some fake blood and I'm going to stipple some of it on and then let some of it drip. And that's pretty much it. I just added some blood and some color and the toilet paper and liquid latex and I think the effect comes out much better than just slapping, you know, this and some liquid latex on and some coloring. Um, I think it's a lot more even, and although I think the whole prosthetic looks a bit stupid, um, you know, if you're gonna be working with what you got, you gotta you gotta do that, right? So like there's not even like a place for an eyebrow. Like, what? what would you draw that on or something? I don't even know. But anyways, just trying to show you guys um, that it doesn't have to be prosthetics around the eyes. This, this can go for anything, you know, it's going to be on your chest or your arms or whatever. So just remember liquid latex, stay away from the hair, and um, I hope this helps people. So yeah, so uh, I think that's it for now and I'll talk to all of you soon. Bye.